Good morning everyone. This is the third day of, of uh, this is our third day over here in Buller. So the third adventure is gonna be quite amazing. Let's see how beautiful is this place. This is one of their uh, tourist attractions ever heard. He called it a motherfall. A motherfall. And uh, for what I see, it looks pretty, but let's see and let's find it out. guys this is the one you always going to hike as i said to come here is 30 minutes to come back it's also 30 minutes but also depends of what or how how fast you're walking um maybe to come back is she said it's gonna be like it's gonna be like 20 or but if the more faster you walk the more faster you can can go go the more slower oh, it takes time my Lolo is very slow there so we are going to take 30 minutes more than 30 minutes I <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I have a husband. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I always forgot that I have a husband to wait. Si Batitang kasi to? Oh. Bisaya. Sa taga Mindanao. Ha. There he is. Doon lang kami nag ano. Can you make it? Okay. Now what I'm going to do? I have Ay, just go. I don't have a choice. There you go. Oh. Oh boy. There you go again. It's another, another wet shoes. But I can guarantee you that I'm already wet from my shoes to my to my uh, bags. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, look at this. Ah, akyat ako. Tama ako. Okay. Oh, over here. Okay. Oh my God, that is not really good. Okay. I've been doing this. I've been doing like hiking when I was young. 
So, <laughs> I think I still remember Cabo. Okay, here we go. This is one here. You put your shoes there. Oops. Uh, I was just thinking I was just going to check over here. Maybe there's a snake. You know, I'm paranoid it comes to snake. Oh, look at the butterfly. It's so cool. Oh, okay. I made it. Okay, here's the challenging part again, everyone. There we go. That's the roof that you're going to hold. You know, if you don't have, you know, if you're clumsy and you don't have balls to walk by yourself and you know, you want to make it sure you're safe, just hold the roof over here. Because so far, the water, the current is goes this way, that way. Uh, it's not that, you know, deep. So I don't think you can offer, but however, it is also good to get like extra caution, you know. It is also good to put caution in this uh, mother nature as you know na mother nature is very unpredictable we don't know what happened so it's better to be safe and, and it's better to be safe than sorry oh the big man the old man do no? are you okay yeah okay it's so slow though I'm gonna take my time yeah don't go anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, we arrived already in this area, but I don't think it is really good idea to swim right now. It is very, very strong, I can guarantee you that. But check this out, guys. Yeah. Right? That is really, really pretty. But if you can see, water is all over and flashing on my face right now. Don't tell me you're gonna go swim. Are you sure? No, don't do that. If you can see, you're not gonna survive if you're going to swim in this one here. No, I don't think so, because it is very, very strong, I can tell you that much. But if you can see over, that's all water flashing on all over, over here. So this is the beauty of nature, and this nature is very unpredictable, mostly full. So the only thing I can do right now is just look at it for hours and hours, because I can stay over here. Just watch it. Couple of hours just to see it and study it and see. see that's very, very cool and pretty. But it, it is, it is very, very pretty place to go. It is quiet and very relaxing. This is the place where you like to write and having coffee. It will be very, very nice. Okay, everyone. Our adventure over here was already finished. I might like it. So beautiful and very, very refreshing on this area. And uh, I have a good time. Absolutely. I like how they have this kind of nature, like uh, very quiet. Only the biggest advantage is you can't swim, but you have a lot of places to swim. They have a lot of this one, you get a lot of that one there too. And of course, this is a little bit pools over here, which is, I don't know if you can go there. Absolutely, you can go. So you can swim down here. As I said, this is the nice place to get like kayak. So. This is the third adventure for today. Day three adventure. That's nice, that's cool, that's cool. Like all you can hear is just water, water flashing by. That's the best one for your uh, anxiety killing. Most day when I get anxiety, you know. And uh, right now we are walking to like make the 20 minutes to 30 it's just the same to come here 30 minutes to go back is 30 minutes to come in here also you have a lot of options which is if you are you do have transportation to go here there also has like a rental motorcycle over here you can rent you have your phone put the GPS you will find this place very very quick also you can ride a trike over here I don't know how much because I never asked if you have a car you can ride a car also now to come here you gotta register you get a pay for the tour guide 300 pesos you also going to pay the parking for 50 it depends if your motorbike then and also it depends also what car did you use motorbike or, or quarter you have a different prices also the tour uh, also the entrance fee is 30 pesos each not so bad everything is worth it so let's let's head home so 
this is the entrance over here to go this one here but over here you can have couple store that you can buy that's the pro chic what kind of pro chic did they have oh this one here i like to try this because i think that's good i'm not really sure but maybe i'm just going to try this one before we're going to hike but there's also uh, i'll be back po. this one here is a souvenir area all you need all the souvenir you want and that is their canteen i think if you like coffee food they have a food also they has a lot of like uh, different kind of stuff it is like a kitchen okay um not really big in it but maybe i would like to find something something that i will going to adore oh that's 250 what is this what's 250 ah 25 each i thought this one they sell for this one yeah. so i'm not sure but there's one thing i would like to buy for bang oh this one is quick oh this looks good though it's 25 each maybe bing will like this why is it like snorkeling <laughs> that's weird well i think they have a full a lot of like different kind of like a big pool over there maybe they will snorkel and they find fish i never know okay guys we changed our mind uh this is the i know i told them like i think uh this area has a lot of uh, this a and G G and G souvenir shop has a lot to offer for me. Uh, down there, uh, I don't really see anything that interests me at all. So let's see over here. Maybe they have something that I like. What is this one? This is what this one is. I think this is vinegar. I always see them everywhere over here. Oh, there's like a lot of t-shirts. This one, okay. This one, there. hello, hello. Why are you always like this? I like it bigger. Wala kayong mga parang mga mga medyo ma Ah, there you go. This one here. Yeah, cuz I have my collection to so every places I go, I need to have like this so I can put that in my collection. There's also a cup over here, but I don't really like that cup. Uh this one here are better because this is also a part of surfing capital. So I think this is nice. I love Balor. That's pretty, huh? Maybe this is the one I would like to get. So, <laughs> our lunch for today will held at Yellowfin Bar and Grill. This is like one of the places I would like to try also. And uh, today is uh, today is the day. So we started our food with appetizer. This is uh, what's this called? Nachos. Nachos. Cheese and cheese and beef. and beef and salsa. and salsa so this is our food oh this is our appetizer for today okay guys when you order medium i was just thinking it's just a one slice because like you know how they cut in the market like the slices so this was i was thinking i'm going to order medium but i'd never expect that this is how medium size to yellow pin tuna over here this is like uh half of yellow pin that's a medium so the big is gonna be whole you know so this is like a 300 or 250 250 something and of course my asawa has eight one two four six eight eight pieces of pork barbecue for 250 pesos and we get the rice over here we get the call uh, we got he got this right but as I said, it's just too big. I think my uh, the dog also <laughs> is gonna have a bit, uh, gonna have a fest for today also. So we're gonna make sure on this fish. It's too big. I can't eat them all. That's for sure. 